Hello and welcome back. We are at one month old. The girls are four weeks old today and they wanted to show you how big they were. I had to expand their <laughs> their um, their pen so they could run around and fly around and all that. And they are just really growing fast. And we actually have a couple that we wanted to name because they have their own personality. And we wanted to, um, we have two, we had two names to pick from. And actually, there's one of them right there. And she'll come up straight to me. And then the other one is already up on the, on the perch right there taking a walk on on the edge on the edge of life they're checking out their um, their new space their condo expanded and I'm gonna see if I could do this while holding a camera I'm gonna see if I can get a good measurement on them so let's see, let's see if one of them will come up to me that way you can see how tall they are. So it looks like they're about, let's see if this one will come up. <laughs> if they stretch their neck, they're about 10 inches. Because I'm looking at one on the side. And so that means that they've grown Their back is about six inches, maybe tall. Yeah, about six, seven inches tall. And I got them at about um, about two inches tall. So, and here comes Lulu, or Lola. That's her over there. And let's see if we can get her up here. If she will indulge us. So the names to pick are, it's either Lola and, and Lulu or Tabitha and Priscilla. And let's see if she'll come up and honor us with her presence. Come on, girl. Okay, she's over there eating like crazy and doesn't see that I already have food. <laughs> come on girl, come on girl. And they're doing the, uh, they're challenging each other actually for um, Kind of like challenging, see, you know, who's got who's got the right of passage, I guess, if you want to call it that way. They're eating. I got them on their breakfast or their breakfast lunch break. Okay, so we did have some um, we did have some questions that were not answered, and we wanted to answer that for you this time. Libby Benton asked. Are there hens that never lay eggs for one reason or another? And the answer to that is there are several reasons that a chicken will not um, lay. And that could be light a lot of times in the winter. They do not lay because they need about 14 hours of sunshine a day. Also, if they're molting, which means that they're changing their feathers, they will not... Um, they will not lay and my girls usually molt around September or October uh, again during the winter a lot of times they don't lay um, at, or you'll see a decrease in egg production like these girls will, ch will chances are they will be laying um, that's why I did get this breed it's called the red star if you're interested um, let's see depending on the farmer they may have a lit coop 
inside, which means that they will be laying. I don't do that because I like my girls to rest. And this is either, it's up to you if you want to name her, Lola or Lulu. She's a light, uh, lighter feather. And she is just so sweet. She comes up to me. And the other one over there is, she's right there. But she's not paying attention to us right now. They're checking out their new pen, which I just laid out. Um, also, if there's predators there in, in the area, they don't want to lay an egg because they that will attract um, the predator to where they're staying at. Um, a lot of times what robins do, and this is funny, what robins do is they'll lay an egg, but then once the chick is um, has hatched, they will take the eggshell and put it somewhere else so the predators won't won't check out where their nest is at um, also their age the girls outside are about two um, they're gonna be three years in July and they're starting to to lose their um, laying <laughs> I guess uh, laying uh, what is it uh, age and uh, they're getting a little too old for that and um, so that that's another factor is their age um, when they're broody which means um, when a when a hen wants to lay an egg um, they will they will sit on an egg and they will not lay so hopefully that answered your question Libby Benson thank you so much for asking those questions we need more like that um, also, uh, we're going to answer mom's, uh, the mom, Benjamin's mother. She asked, um, let's see, mom would like to know if you have any advice for a family who wants to hatch chicks at home. We live in a rural area and would like to use, and would like to use an incubator inside to be there for all of it. The thing with that is you need to first check with your ordinance here in Kentucky. Different counties have different ordinances. In my my city, I can lay I could have I could have chicks in the city as long as they're on my property. So um, you might want to do that first. Um, I read about it and um, personally it would be more costly if you do it at home in an incubator because it's a really cool experience, but if you're looking cost-wise, it wouldn't really pan off because you don't know what type of egg you are getting. You might be getting all roosters, um, or if you want one rooster, you might be getting all hens. So <laughs> it, it's kind of like, uh, it's a guessing game. So if you put all this money into incubating and, and all the process and the temperature and humidity have to be right. If it's off by a little bit, it will not um, it will not uh, gestate. Uh, and uh, the what I did is these girls are from an online. Um, if you'd like to find out what it is, I can always email you or put it on the comment where I got the where I got my girls. They shipped them the next day, so. Um, I'm really happy with them. They'll vaccinate them, and I know exactly what I got. They're girls. They're all girls, and they are all vaccinated, and they're all the same breed. So hopefully that answered your question, Benjamin's mom, from last week. Um, I didn't want to answer all the questions last time because I think the video would have been a little too long, but please continue to ask, to ask questions. I love that, and it keeps the videos going and the kids learning. So... Uh, we want to thank you for all the ones that submitted the questions. They were awesome. Um, and hopefully tomorrow I will have an easy recipe for you, or even shortly, actually. We're editing that we had some technical difficulty, and we might have some cool recipes for you for before Mother's Day. Um, and stay tuned to Dia Ali's Little Farm and Kitchen. Enjoy the day, and God bless. Give me another little shot of the girls oh and again please comment below we need two uh, the choices are Lola so this is this one this one would be Lulu right there the one I just 
right there. That's Lulu. And then Lola would be her. Or it could be Priscilla and Tabitha. So you decide because you are the ones that are running the show. All right. God bless. And again, enjoy the day. Bye-bye. <laughs>